Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and a great weekend so far. So today I'm gonna to be filming a what I eat in a day video. And this is a what I eat in a day to gain and build muscle, gain weight. Um, basically, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna have my kind of daily um, target macros on the screen now, probably here or here. Um, so the protein, carbs, fat, etc., and overall calories that I am trying to eat on a daily basis. And this is for me, someone who is around 50 kg. Um, I'll insert a clip now of me weighing myself this morning. I think I was like 49.7. Starting this video pretty late. It is 12:28. Um, Saturday the 15th of June and we're gonna crack on with it. So I'm having breakfast, I'm having four sausages, uh, Cumberland, so kind of a bit less fat than normal pork sausages, and I have four egg whites, no, three egg whites, three egg whites fried and like about a tablespoon of ketchup. And then I have a cup of tea with semi skim milk and one sugar. I'm gonna put the macros for this meal somewhere on the screen now. Put on Instagram, send me some questions to answer as I eat. Um, so I'm gonna <laughs> answer a couple of those now. <laughs> do you miss flying? Yes, I do miss flying, but I'm gonna be back up in the air really soon. I'm really excited to go back, and I can't wait for you to see all the content that is coming. Loads of travel vlogs and British Airways kind of themed videos, and yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be so, so good. And leading on from that, someone then said, when will you be going back into the cabin crew role? Well, that'll be next week. I'm gonna answer Toby's question. Toby is one of the PTs at the gym that I go to. So hey, Toby, thanks for giving me a question. And he said, what's your favorite exercise? So that's a really, really hard question to answer. Favorite upper body exercise, hands down, bicep curls. Whether it's on a cable with dumbbells, I love doing bicep curls. And I prefer to do them with a cable with the straight bar. Um, that's my just favorite hands down upper body exercise. If not, then probably like a shoulder press or lateral raises or something like that. Or, oh, at the moment, I'm loving just a simple lat pull down. Um, I used to hate training back and now I just absolutely love it. It's so weird. Like, I feel like as soon as you kind of start to see new muscles coming through that you never had before, it just motivates you to work even harder. Um, and I used to hate training back because I didn't have anything and you can't see what you're doing. And it's like, oh, is there anything even there like working? Um, and I had a video of me doing a lap pull down. I was amazed by my back muscles because I'd never seen them working like that before. Um, so now I love training back. It's amazing how things change. Um, yeah, so maybe even a lap pull down. Mm. Yeah, I'm now thinking between bicep curls and lap pull down. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling. Favorite lower body exercise, hands down, hip thrusts. I love them. You cannot beat that burning sensation in your glutes after doing a set of hip thrusts, like it's just, it's incredible. So yeah, probably I would say hip thrusts are my favorite overall exercise, but hip thrusts and bicep curls, definitely. I'm really inspired to do like more kind of like fitness and kind of food related videos on this channel. Um, so if you're interested in that and you have any suggestions, please let me know. I really, really wanna do the 10,000 calorie challenge. But I don't think I can eat that much food. Like I'm struggling with this, even though I have done pretty well. Um, I'm not done yet though. I'm gonna eat all of this. What are good exercises for beginners to lose weight initially? So if you're trying to lose weight, you obviously wanna make sure that you're doing cardio. Cardio is obviously gonna help you burn fat. And if that's what you're trying to do, then you wanna do something like a treadmill, um, Stairmaster, bike, rowing machine, also say lifting weights as well. Um, if you're completely new to the gym, I wouldn't go straight for the free weights, like the dumbbells and the barbells and things like that, because I know that they can be really intimidating. Um, I would say go for like the machine weights, so things like the leg extension, the lat pull down, um, the hamstring curl, uh, like just the bicep curl on the machine. If you can afford it, invest in a personal trainer because that's one thing that I just, I don't ever regret doing. I look back and I think, wow, that was a lot of money that I spent on personal training, but I don't regret a single penny of it because 
when I first started getting into fitness, I was so, so skinny. I'm a petite girl, I'm only five foot three. I weigh 50 kilos, like I'm a very small girl. All my cousins are the same, my brother is very slim. Um, it just runs in our family. I have a really fast metabolism as well, so that doesn't help. Um, so when I first started in the gym, I was working at David Lloyd, so I had a free gym membership. I said, I'm gonna make use of it. I went up to the gym and I had no idea what I was doing. I was doing cardio. I didn't need to do cardio, I was trying to get bigger. I wanted a bigger bum, I wanted definition in my arms, I wanted bigger shoulders, like I wanted back muscles, I wanted all these things. And I was going up there and run, running on a treadmill. Um, and I remember one day I sat there and my then future PT approached me and asked if I was all right, like what I was doing. And I said, I had no idea what I was doing and this is my goals and can you help me basically. It got me now to the point where I do feel confident in the gym. I know what I'm doing. When I first started my like PT journey, I used to be 42 kilograms, which is so underweight. My BMI was like 16, 17. Um, less than 100 pounds. I was just, I was so, so underweight. Um, and now he got me to the point where I am now, which is 50. And I'm so thankful for that. You know, he's helped me build so much shape. And you know, I don't, I don't have a flat bum anymore. Like I actually have shape now. Um, you know, these babies. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm so, so thankful for that. So as I'm now rambling, what I would say is if you can afford a personal trainer, hands down, without a doubt, get one because you won't regret it. So yeah, if you're new at the gym and you wanna lose weight, if you wanna tone up as well, then I would say you need to be doing a mixture of cardio and lifting weights, hands down. Now I'm not a professional, you know, by any means. Um, I've had an excellent personal trainer who's taught me everything that I know, but I would hands down say you need to incorporate both cardio and um, weights. If you're doing like weights, in between each set of weights, you could be doing jumping jacks, burpees, push-ups, sit-ups, all those kind of things that will keep you moving for the entire session. So definitely look into that. This gorgeous girl on Instagram that just asked me, what is happening in your life at the moment? And how are you? Thanks, Julia. <laughs> um, well, that's a good question. So, life at the moment has been pretty, up and down. Um, I was due to start British Airways like a couple of weeks ago and I got pushed back just because of my referencing was taking forever. I'm happily single. I don't need a man in my life at the moment. I'm focusing on myself, my training in the gym and my new job and that is all I need. So no men, no drama. I forgot about my tea. I'm having a really late lunch as well. This is technically my breakfast. Um, if you're wondering why I'm eating at half 12, it's because <laughs> I had a nightmare of the morning. Um, so as you can see, I don't have any videos on this channel other than this one. That's because I woke up this morning to find that my Instagram account had been hacked. My email had been hacked. My Google, which is linked to my YouTube, had been hacked. Um, so all my videos are gone. I put a lot of work into those videos. Um, my two EasyJet videos had over 40,000 views between them and they're all gone. But it is what it is. Um, I'm not holding a grudge. I'm moving on and we're starting this new channel. It's gonna be bigger and better and we're starting fresh with a smile on our face. So it's all good. Um, and then I went to film this video at nine o'clock this morning and my SD card broke um, as I was trying to put it into this camera. I walked to Sainsbury's and bought myself a 64 gig one which was for video purposes mainly and for proper full on HD videoing. So hopefully the quality is really good. But I'm still smiling and that's all that matters and my highlight. And do you know what? I had such a bad morning and it's crazy how just like one little compliment from someone can just make your whole morning like better. So I was like paying for my stuff in Sainsbury's because I bought some chicken and some ham and like other little bits. Um, and the lady who was kind of manning the self-service checkouts, she said to me, oh, are you wearing any foundation or is that your natural skin? And I said to her, oh, I'm wearing the Revolution foundation, you know, the one in the bottle. I said, oh, I'm wearing Revolution foundation from Superdrug and the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder over the top. And she literally stood there for about five minutes just complimenting how nice my skin looked. And I walked out saying to her, there was a bit of a smile on my face. So I was like, oh, okay. 
nice little compliment morning made yeah oh my god it's my last piece oh so i am gonna finish my tea probably watch some youtube videos and then i'll be back when i next eat <laughs> okay so it's now seven minutes past two so it's a little bit later but not that long um, I've just edited all the stuff that you've just seen and I need to have a snack and I want something sugary because one thing about me that you'll learn is I have the worst sweet tooth ever and yeah I love sugar so I'm gonna see how many of these Oreos I can eat um, I'll put the macros up now for the actual amount that I did eat okay so five is 267 calories so I think I can eat five if I can't eat five then just lost all faith in myself you know that moment when you bite into something and you realize actually how full you still are <laughs> i'm like yeah i can eat five and now i'm like <laughs> i have way too much faith in myself when it comes to food i forgot i actually have these ones just sitting here i feel like these would be a lot like more calorific if you will so one of these packets that has two is 280 calories and two grams of protein, 36 grams of carbs and 16 grams of fat. Oh my God, I've gone way over my fat for today already, but oh well, like that. It's been a little while, it's now 10 past three. Um, I ate the Oreos, so they're gone. Um, I'm gonna put the total amount of calories that I've had so far on the screen probably about a thousand I've just made myself another cup of tea um it's a bit hot at the moment so I'm not gonna <laughs> drink it yet really sorry as well if you can tell how ill I am but I've woken up this morning again just been such a bad day um <laughs> I've woken up this morning just like fully like bunged up like with a cold and I swear to god it's just this weather changing like it's nice and like warm today yeah it was pouring down the past week so I don't get it like it's June it's meant to be summer but it's like monsoon season out there, so I have no idea. Um, but yeah, sorry if I'm like doing this all the time or I sound like a man, but it's literally just because I have a nasty cold. So I need something savory because I literally can't eat anything else sweet right now. So I'm gonna eat some pombez. There's only like 79 calories in these. So nearly done with the crisps. These were actually surprisingly quite easy to eat. I thought they were gonna be a lot harder. All gone. So I'm just gonna drink my tea and then I'm gonna just chill out um, watch some Netflix or YouTube or something um, for a little bit uh, before making dinner. So I will check in with you guys again when it's time for dinner. So I'll speak to you all in a bit. Bye. I'm randomly starving. So I'm gonna make some dinner and I'm gonna have just chicken and rice, but I'm gonna kind of show you how I do it. You're like, Phoebe, it's just chicken and rice. Oh, my stomach just growled, like stop talking and make my food. Got a pack of these chicken mini fillets from Sainsbury's. I'm probably gonna have half the pack. Don't mind my strawberry laces. <laughs> um, and then, let's have a look. Oh, there she is. I'll have a whole one of these, even though it serves two. It doesn't serve two, it serves one. Um, I'm gonna have a whole one of them. Um, pop it on some foil, on the baking tray, and then I'm just gonna put like garlic, salt, pepper, um, maybe some like seasonal yeah just a few random seasonings on there and throw it all together and I will show you what it looks like when it's done cool so this is what it looks like before it goes in the oven I have literally just put salt pepper garlic powder and then a little bit of the old El Paso seasoning the one that you get in like the fajita and like enchilada kits so I literally just put a little bit of that on there as well and there we have it so i'm gonna whack that in the oven now and let it cook or bake for about 15 minutes or so and then i'll cook the rice and show you what it looks like at the end okay so excuse all the steam coming off of it but literally just got my chicken and my pack of rice and a nice glass of dr pepper so i'm gonna sit here and enjoy this now i have had a long day um you know i was gonna go to the gym yesterday and today and I didn't even end up going because I didn't have time. Um, so I'm definitely going tomorrow. Back and shoulders, 100%. I was going to go to the gym this afternoon, um, but things just took way too long sorting out all this hacking stuff, and it just took way too long. So um, 
I didn't get a chance which sucks because now my workouts are just being compromised and that's the last thing I want because I take my training so seriously like of course I have fun when I'm doing it but I do take it really seriously um yeah and I start BA on Friday so I've literally got Monday to Thursday to train heavy and then I'm going to be on this like mad schedule for the next four weeks so and then after that I'm going to be flying everywhere so even madder schedule if that makes sense again i'll put all the macros on screen now so you can see and then once i'm done eating for today i will put like my final macros on so you can see that as well right so i will check back in with you once i'm done eating and on to my next snack which will probably be some kind of ice cream but we will see so i will speak to you all in a bit right so it's been a really long day and i'm tired i'm like stressing <laughs> um and just like chilling in bed and i've been like munching on these so i'm gonna finish this packet i ate all of my dinner um the chicken and stuff was actually really nice um i've been about five of these which is about 100 calories um so i'm gonna finish those i've got myself another glass of dr pepper so i'm gonna finish that myself one of these like kinder ice creams these are so good if you haven't tried them they have them in sainsbury's and tesco's and these are about 69 70 calories so i'm gonna have this and that probably will be me done for the day so i'm gonna sign the video off now i'm gonna put my total calories down here somewhere um total protein everything carbs macros just so you can see what i have had today everything included breakfast lunch dinner snacks drinks everything will be included in that total calories and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video let me know please what content you'd like to see from me whether it's makeup if it's gym videos if it's eating videos if it's challenges let me know because yeah, I have no videos now, except one actually. I said at the start of this video that I had no videos on my channel, but I managed to find one. <laughs> the rest are gone. They're on my old laptop and I have a new MacBook Air and I don't have any of them except that one. So I've lost all my videos, all of the EasyJet ones I made, the ones after I had my operation, um, everything, it's all gone. So yeah but oh well we're starting fresh and only exciting positive things to come thank you so much for watching and have a great week guys bye